So we've got the whole day to spend on the kitchen. Um, we made a start last night. We took down all of the wall units um, that were above these ones, believe it or not, right up against the ceiling. Uh, we've taken out a few on this wall and it's going to be a case of clearing everything down because uh, we're living in the kitchen whilst we do it and then we'll start knocking down the wall. Uh, we've got one concrete wall to come down here which is non-supporting and then the one through to the next room which we need to put big steel in above it. So it's going to get a bit messy but we're going to try and uh, manage that. And we're going to save this old fireplace here um, and where we're going to have our new stove and um, we're going to put that in uh, once the new floor's in. The boiler's going to move out to the outside utility. Um, so that's about it. Once we've got everything cleared, uh, I'll be able to show you what we're going to do with the floor and how we're going to run the underfloor heating. Feels like we're moving home again, by the all the packing we've had to do. Um, the plan is to leave this L-shaped base unit and wall unit here because that's eventually the same as how the new kitchen is going to be. Where you see the fridge, that's going to be the entrance through to the next room. Uh, the whole wall is actually coming out and we're going to do a bit of metal work to support these wall units which should be quite good fun. And lastly over in this hallway we've got another series of ridiculously high cupboards. So these are three meter ceilings so pointless having these cupboards up there. Um, so this hallway is going to be quite good fun. We're planning to take all of this uh, stud work and tongue and groove back to this wall over here, which is the brick wall separating the lounge from this side of the house. So we're going to take back the whole thing right back to there, but leaving a work surface height um, wall along here, probably keeping this old cladding, which is quite nice. Last of all, the, uh, the original pantry, the larder, that's going to be kept. So we're basically putting our whole kitchen into one cupboard for now. And we'll tape all this up whilst we're knocking down walls and hopefully we're we'll fairly dust free. The doors off all these cupboards now and just starting to take down the structure of it. This is all the original uh, Victorian stud work and panelling. So it's actually really well made. So I'm just trying to take it down piece by piece and hopefully we can rescue some of the panelling to use in the future. And now I've just got to take the rest of the hardboard off and let's see what's underneath it. to get rid of some of this paper but we're making progress so the next stage is to take out this whole section of concrete wall all the way up to the covered line there so we'll take the whole lot down and then we'll pretty much have a blank canvas right so that's day one of uh, kitchen renovation started and finished so I'll just give you a bit of a walk around so we've taken out that whole section uh, that was like a canopy above the uh, sink and the oven. All of this section has been cleared of its cupboards. There were cupboards right up here. Taken all the wooden cladding off all these walls uh, to expose the old plaster and wallpaper. So that needs to all be stripped off, ready for the next uh, skim. All sorts of wiring, old wiring going on over here. So we'll have a sort out over there and get that taken out uh, when the electricians come. And then this whole section here is all nice and clear now. So we've got a good, I mean, it's, it's deeper than a normal work surface. We're gonna have a good, uh, probably 800 mil deep uh, work surface here and some wall units up here. Pretty much it, the last bit of tidying up to do, last bit of wood here, and 
It needs a real sort out. That's everything we've taken out so far. So Joe's been using a software called um, Room Sketcher, which is an online based software and it's been amazing so far. We've been able to create, um, to scale plans of the whole house and do a room by room design and it lets you walk around, so easy to use. So I'm going to try and do a little screen grab of that now and show you a bit of footage of Room Sketcher. So this is us walking around the house and into the kitchen. And as you can see here, we've left that little peninsula of uh, wall units hanging off the wall. And that's the island. So one of the main things we wanted to use this software for was to get a good idea of what size we wanted that island to be and also just how the logistics of the kitchen would work with all the different units we've got. And here's a quick shot of the lounge which is all finished now and through to the front room and lastly this is hopefully what the dining room will look like once it's finished or something similar. So that's day one over and done with and we've got quite a lot done. Nice productive day. It's very hot outside so it's quite nice to be working inside. Um, so you've seen the dream now. You've seen the, the software version of our kitchen and hopefully you get an idea of what we're aiming for. So back to reality. Let's get tidied up, get cleared up and uh, make plans for day two. So hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.